What's up, party people? Yes, we got zits on our face, but guess what? We're still rolling with it. We're gonna cover up our eyebrows because we want a nice, smooth base. So we're gonna take some non-toxic, washable glue, whatever that glue stick is, comb it through our eyebrows, take a mascara wand or spoolie, whatever you got, and comb your eyebrows up because the whole point is to get them flat. Then you're gonna do a loose powder, some concealer, and repeat as necessary, ending with powder. It's okay if they're not completely blocked out, we just want them flat and so we can paint on them so they'll disappear. You feel me? We want to create our base, so I'm using the Mayron Paradise paints basically throughout this whole tutorial. The only thing that I'm going to be using that's different is an eyeliner and you will see it. I'm just creating a color wash of white all over my face to start creating that washed out look and then we're going to build on that. We're going to want to start mapping out where um, the bones start to pop out a little bit more. I have a picture of a white walker I am looking at. I will post it somewhere in between here just so you guys can see what I'm looking at. But basically any high points that they have you're going to want to accentuate with white. And again, we're just mapping it out. So if it's not perfect, it's okay. We're just kind of mapping out where we're going to want to highlight and where we're going to want to go in and add shadows. Eyeliner. This is just the NYX gel liner. I'm just putting it all over my eyelid and going to map out the areas around my eye. I'm pretty sure it's fine to put that water-based paint around your eyes. I just feel like this stuff is going to stick a little bit better and it doesn't make my eyes as irritated. So yeah, that's what I'm using around my eyeballs. From there, you're going to want to start carving out the depth of the cheekbones. It's not going to be pretty until it starts to look good, guys, so just stick with it if you think it's starting to look like crap. A lot of it is blending and adding different colors in there, so we are just mapping that out and mapping out where the cheekbones should stop. And now I'm going in and just kind of blending everything out. Like I said, here are the mid-tones. We're going to add blues in there because they have an icy tint, and you're just going to fill in basically every space that is your skin color with some of that blue. And then we'll go in and add dark blue, light blue. It'll look good. I promise to stick with it. darker blue. I just mix that light blue with a little bit of black to create that color and I am going over the cheekbones and accentuating any lines that I'm going to need to add more depth into and then I'm going to start on the forehead to really start pull that together. Taking that white you're just going to want to start doing little streaks. They kind of have like a wavy forehead and you want to do the waves to show that there are high points and low points on their forehead and we're going to make our nose wider because they got a big old nose and just start blending the white in with some of that blue around your eyes and that's really all you have to do right now. If your colors start to get a little too thick or too dry on you, you can spray a little water on your face and kind of start blending it in with just a brush and that'll kind of help that and help everything blend in a little bit better. Once we've laid down some more of our high points around the mouth, we're going to go back in with that dark blue and start accentuating that white so it pops out a little bit more and adding more and more shadows in. It's kind of just playing around with it you guys and just seeing what colors you need to add where. Just keep looking at that reference picture and compare it to your face. Now we gotta make the forehead even more wrinkly. Now it's time to get funky. Funk. I don't know why that just came into my head, but that's what I think of when I look at a white walker. So we're just adding some black in there to accentuate the white even more and add some more depth so he looks, he, I'm a girl, so I look even more hollowed out. We want to create that sharp 
uh, brow wrinkle because that's very prominent on their faces and then we're just gonna go in and add even tiny more little details that we need create those lines around their mouth that look like a tree is wrapping them from within and uh, yeah Since we have a lot of our details laid down, we want to go in and blend everything together just a little bit more so it's more seamless and not so like streaky looking. So you're just going to go back in with your different shades, blend where needed, you know, treat yourself like a piece of artwork, fill in your lips with the black so it adds even more of that depth. They kind of do have like a grandma mouth with like dentures, like mwah, you know what I mean? So. I've said this about like 23 times by now, but just keep going back and forth with the highlighting and shading colors because it's all about balance. Now we're going to go and quickly do our decollete area and we are going to go in with the white, highlight our collarbone, our neck bone, muscle things, and like our shoulder bones. Anywhere that you want to pop out, you're going to put the white. Anywhere that you want to fade in and sink in, you're going to put the dark. But remember, before we go in with black, we want to go in with that blue color to add our base so our neck matches our face. We don't want no floating head syndrome going on up in here. dark by putting black eyeliner in your waterline. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to be nice to people because it's not that hard and if you're not nice to people then I'm going to show up in your dreams with this makeup on. Just be nice.